Hi, Gene Sherrard here. Welcome to our online-only feature, Seattle Now and Then 360. Each Now and Then column is accompanied by a 360-degree video, which we invite you to explore while listening to an audio recording of the column itself. Quick note, the then photo is positioned directly above the now location. This week, Seattle's own Mount Vernon. Here's Clay Eels with the story. If you have visited America's other Washington and taken the popular tourist trip 10 miles south to Mount Vernon, your mind's eye can see the mansion of our first president and first lady, George and Martha Washington. Though its construction and expansion coincided with the beginnings of our egalitarian democracy, the manor overlooking the Potomac River was, and remains, majestic, ten times the size of the average home in mid-1700s colonial Virginia. Now, we need not trek 2,800 miles to get an in-person approximation of the experience. Here we have what the Seattle Times once called Seattle's own Mount Vernon, embodied in the 94-year-old Rainier Chapter House of the Daughters of the American Revolution. A faithful reproduction of George and Martha's famed residence, it simultaneously salutes its eastern counterpart and our state's namesake. When this replica was dedicated on April 11, 1925, in a ceremony attended by Governor Roland Hartley, the Seattle Times favorably compared it to the original, lacking only its water border and great expanse of grounds. Today, it retains a striking nature, surrounded by a city streetscape bearing three other treasures, the Loveless Building, the Cornish School, and the Women's Century Club, site of the former Harvard Exit Movie House, all part of the Harvard-Belmont Landmark District atop Capitol Hill. It also recently scored a coveted countrywide standing. On March 20th, the Rainier Chapter House became listed on the National Register of Historic Places. This is not merely a promotable honor. It also paves the way for valuable tax credits and grants. And to celebrate, the 167 chapter members are inviting the public to a plaque unveiling on Sunday, June 2nd. These women, all descendants of revolutionary warriors who struggled for independence from Britain, embrace an inspiring legacy. Their ancestors formed the chapter in 1895 and raised money after World War I to build their elegant local headquarters. They even scoured attics to find items to sell at Pike Place Market. As a result, Seattle's DAR chapter was the only one in the nation at the time to own the ground for its building. Daniel Huntington, then coming off nine years as Seattle's municipal architect, infused a classical design with wood siding grooved to resemble stonework. The edifice was erected in just four months, after which chapter members filled it with period furniture, dishes, art, and historical objects. They also began an enduring tradition, renting the facility, including its second floor ballroom, to groups seeking immersion in a sumptuous past. If George and Martha themselves were to appear on the doorstep today, they might momentarily mistake Rainier Chapter House for their home. Their clue otherwise would be our urban milieu. In our then photo, five years after the Rainier Chapter House was built, nearly 90 women posed on its portico, illustrating the age-old photographer's challenge of getting everyone to face in the same direction. In the middle, can you also spot a costumed George Washington? Now, beneath the cupola, unfortunately sliced from the top of our then photo, 34 chapter members attending their annual spring brunch emulate the pose of their ancestors.